bell pepper. The first one, I'm cutting this for my stir fry. And that's why I like bell pe peppers. And then I'm going to cut, y'all can see this jalapeno right here. I'm cutting that baby for my salsa. About to make some salsa. And uh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. I don't know how close I am, but yeah. Be nice if that tomato was ready to I mean, I can pull it, but it won't be ready for some salsa. Oh my garlic. Guess I'll just dump it over since the weather flipped them over last night. Just gonna dump it over. That soil is still really, really good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the roots. They pretty much are this point choking on all these roots but the garlic is not quite ready there's they're small they're small and um that tells me I need to leave them in there for probably another two weeks because I need to add garlic to my salsa which I already have some in the house but hey they smell absolutely divine it smells really good so what I'm gonna do since the roots are so well put together. I'm just going to replant this and it's going to continue on growing. Um, it's just so hot out that a lot of these vegetables can't take a lot of this heat. And um, the best thing to do is cut back the dead roots. Trust me when I say that because then when you do that, especially on tomatoes, that's a tip. The tomato plant will produce even more tomatoes. And it is time to get my first tomato off the vine. Gorgeous. Kind of looks like a peach, but gorgeous. Welcome back to another new video with Taya Everything. I am aka Mama Payne. I thank you for joining me and I wanted to do today's video on a delicious recipe. No, it's not food, but it's something that we all enjoy eating with our corn chips. And that's pretty much a hint and I'm sure you know already what I'm talking about. I want to give a shout out to Natalie. She uh, guessed it on my Facebook and she was the first one to answer what I had put on Facebook on guess what I'm making and she was the first one so she gets the shout out. I thank you all for being part of this channel and thank you for the new subscribers and I want you to subscribe if you're new and please go to the other channel exploring the afterlife I'm about to upload a video on that and I'm not going to say what it is but it is going to be somewhat of a personal thing um, right there I'm giving it away uh, but anyways Please go on my Instagram at Mama Payne. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. 
and uh, hey, let's go on with the video. Um, we're back, and I've taken things out that we're going to need to prepare our, yes, homemade salsa. I'm making homemade salsa, and a lot of you don't know how to make it, and, and it's so good, and it's not hard to make. So if you want to jump on this video, when I upload it and you watch me make this salsa, you're going to want to start making it yourself and you're going to be surprised and tell yourself, I should have done this a long time ago. You can prepare it for yourself, a boyfriend, a fiance, a husband, girlfriend, fiance, <laughs> you know, it, in or family or your kids, your grandkids. Hey, it's for everyone. So I've already got everything set out. And I'm going to say that I add a little garlic to mine. That's a preference for you. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to add. But let me tell you, it adds a lot of flavor. Okay. Usually when I make my salsa, I make it with um, the, the tomatoes. Like these. And this is, by the way, my fresh picked tomato from this morning. And then y'all seen that little video at the beginning. Um, here's my Roman tomatoes, which that's what I'm going to make it with. Because I would rather just make it with the Roman tomato since I have plenty of these and not, not my big boy tomato. Okay. I got onion. Lime. Cilantro. Very important. Cilantro. Okay. And I picked these out of my garden this morning. Because I wanted to tell you about this jalapeno and how you're going to make it. So I say jalapeno. You say jalapeno, okay? Alright, so depending on how much heat you want in your salsa, okay? That is the most important thing of making this recipe. How much heat do you want in your salsa? You got the big boy jalapeno, you got the medium boy jalapeno, and you got the baby jalapeno, okay? So this would be a little not not less than mild this would be mild and this would be hot okay so if I added all of this it would kick okay if I add this this is gonna be like a mild flavor and then if you add the little one you're gonna get a little bit but not hardly so that's totally up to you but when you go and purchase jalapenos at the grocery store make sure to remember the sizes of the jalapeno unless you just get a whole big one like this and just cut it in half for the mild and go from there but I can't tell you how much of this to use on a big one like how much cut off for a, a little one like this probably about this much and you're probably not even going to taste it so alright let's get started alright guys so I'm going to do this in a medium uh, bowl and then once I get it all made up I'm going to put it in a mason jar and just make sure it has a lid so you can seal in that flavor and refrigerate it. You could leave it out for a day, but I would rather you put it in the refrigerator so it would last longer, unless you just eat it up all in one serving. But I usually like to put it in tacos or my, my Mexican food because, you know, I do make a lot of authentic Mexican foods since I am Hispanic American. Uh, my mother just absolutely made the most delicious, authentic Mexican food because she was Mexican. So, this is what I'm going to use. A mason jar and a medium bowl. So, right now I'm going to do the cutting board. And, um, I'm going to do the medium. I'm going to do a mild. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash wash all this up and I'll be right back so you always want to make sure everything is nicely and totally rinsed everything should be rinsed even your lime you don't never know what's on it or what's crawled on it at the grocery store or of course uh, in my vegetable garden I mean there's bugs out there lots of different bugs um, and then for the farmers, you know, they do put the pesticides and all that on their uh, vegetables and fruits. So you always make sure to wash thoroughly your vegetables, your fruits and vegetables. 
Okay, so I already had an onion, a half an onion. Um, preference again, you don't have to put a whole lot of onion in it. You could always over put onion in it, or you could just put the right amount of onion in it, which I will be showing you guys. Um, but if you want to not have that much onion in it, you could just not add as much as I'm going to show you how much I put into mine. Okay, so let's get chopping. I'm going to go ahead and start chopping the tomatoes. And I'm um, not sure if I should use the long or short knife, but I always do the onion last. The, I got some uh, hacks that I can show you guys about taking the smell out of your hands really quick. I like to do a video on that on Did You Know? And that's probably the, the name of that video, Did You Know? And it's going to be hacks on different little things that I bet you didn't know, okay? And I apologize, the light's not that bright. Maybe, let me see if I can turn it up. I think that's as high as it goes. Yeah, that's as high as it goes. But let me go ahead and chop up some of those tomatoes. And guys, I um, when you cut, I cut right down the middle. And then you start cutting like this, and then that way it makes the little square tomatoes. And that's if you have a sharp knife, which my knives are not as sharp as they used to be. It's time to give them a great sharpening. Alright, something I did not mention um, is I'm using six Roman tomatoes. And that would probably give me... I'm not... I'm just going to guess it'll probably come up to here. I'm hoping it fills it up, but I doubt it. And it's probably going to come up to here. Um... But if you're going to use like the regular tomatoes, um, three and four go a long ways. This one, like these are the big boys. And like I said, I got this out of my garden. It, it didn't grow as big as I wanted it to, but it's a, it's a good size. And if you're going to use just your regular tomatoes, like your palm hand tomatoes is what I call them. Um, I would use, um, not two, but three three of these and if you're going to make a big batch um like four i would suggest do uh almost a full it will have a little heat more so than your mild but it's it would still be really really good so i'm down to three to make uh, roman tomatoes and i've already got that much and guys make sure to get all the juice tomato juice as you're cutting the tomatoes make sure to capture all that juice because that's so important to have that's the 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 juices that mixes in with the garlic the cell uh, the jalapeno the onion the lime you, it's so important to have that juice okay once it just um, sits there for like a day the flavors are so amazing so while I'm cutting these three um, it'll be then my jalapeno, but I'm thinking I want to cut the jalapeno last so that I don't get it in my face or anything. You got to be very careful. Once you touch this and you uh, cut it, make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut me some cilantro. And I'm going to do, I love cilantro, so I'm going to add probably one, one and two cups of cilantro and your cilantro make sure it's very well washed okay rinsed washed or ever whatever you want to call it but I am I'm gonna go ahead and cut some off of here and as you can see I know my son does not like cilantro but I do because it adds a lot of flavor to the salsa Alright, that's about how much I'm going to add to it. Then I'm going to put it in my rinse strainer. And I'm going to rinse it. And then I'm going to show you what you got to do before you add it to your, the, well, the rest of the recipe. So we are doing, uh, not doing, but rinsing the cilantro. It becomes a very, like, very stuck on you or the rinse pot thing drainer <laughs> sorry um 
So what you want to do is shake it off like this and just pick it up and give it a good squeeze, which I already done, and it helps. It helps to dry it. It sticks to everything, even your hands. But uh, also, when you got a thick stem like this, you want to go ahead and cut that. If it's like stems like that right there, it's okay. You can chop that up and eat it with your salsa, with, with the salsa. I mean, make your salsa with it. But you want to chop that thick, thick stem off of there. Um, because that is very thick. So, cut those off. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna continue on chopping up the tomatoes. Okay, so I finally got the tomatoes cut up, and you can use your food processor. Uh, I have a small one, is why I've not been able to use one, uh, because it can make things go faster. But my food processor is small, and it's just a lot of trouble getting one at a time in there and taking the tops off and all that. And you don't want to chop it up too fine, because then you're going to have something else. Um, I like my my salsa to be uh, chunky as it is on, you know, jars that you buy at the store or at the Mexican restaurants or wherever you. But in my in my country, the way we do salsa is the the thick chunky salsa. So let's go ahead and start chopping up the cilantro. Um, and the way to chop up the cilantro, now this you could use on your food pot, uh, your, oh my goodness, your, I'm getting tongue-tied, your food processor, <laughs> sorry guys, I got so much on my mind, and doing a video, so, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, anyway, so, the food processor would be great on this, um, when you got to you know, chop it up fine, fine. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and do this. And you guys can see it. So what I do is I take it and I just ball it up. And, um, and just cut fine like this. Just cut, 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 cut till you get a nice, nice cut into little tiny pieces. And you just keep cutting. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, if the stems are not that thick, and they're little stems or whatever, just go ahead. Cut them up, just as I am right now, and use them. No problem. And uh, this is what you do. You just ball it up real good, and you just cut it up real fine. Sometimes I don't use my finger. Usually I cut like this. I've just caught myself using my finger. But if you're used to cutting it like this and or like this, this right here is hard to break, that habit. And uh, we don't cut like this. We cut like this. Okay. Um, Alright. So that's all cut. I'm going to go ahead and add it to here. into my little cup and um, like I said look it sticks everywhere cilantro smells so good but it sticks everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead rinse off of that all right let me go ahead and prepare the other guys oh. yes onions oh my god they're the worst. And they got me crying. But on another video, boy, do I have a trick hack for you guys on these onions. No more tears. Anyways, so I use one third cups of onion and one uh, second or one two cups <laughs> of cilantro. So I've got these prepped. Um, let me get this onion out of here. All right. So then it's that time. I always do my lime last. I can't. 
can't believe I didn't say I used my lime last. I always use my lime last. But, guys, if you want a Tex Mix salsa, you can add like uh, one third or one fourth cups of corn, drained corn, um, and probably uh, one, another, you know, uh, one third cups of black beans drained. You don't want the juice of the black beans, so make sure you rinse the black beans before you, uh, you know, add it. Because that would then be a Tex-Mex salsa. Okay? Now, with this salsa, the way I have it, you could also add an avocado, which I recommend. Because if you like avocado, man, does that pop onto the salad. It's delicious. Only thing is adding an avocado, if you don't put enough lime, it will start to brown. So, I'm not doing that. I don't have an avocado. They are very expensive right now. So, um, I chose not to add an avocado. And, um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop up this, this jalapeno. And then we're going to bring it all together. And then I will show you how much garlic to use once we start to mix it all in. Alright, so I finally got that jalapeno nicely chopped. And you can use your food processor for this as well. It'd probably be easier. <laughs> um, okay, so just got everything prepped. Now what I need to do is put it all together. So we will add hold on just a minute let me set this camera up okay I'll go ahead and do this let's see if I can um, get you guys where you could see what I'm doing without it being too dark um, right there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add the jalapeno in the tomatoes Make sure you get those seeds in there also. Alright, that's where the heat's at. Alright. Next, you're going to put the onion in there. Alright. Next, the cilantro. The cilantro. And as you can see, that's what a beautiful color that is. You can see that. Okay, and this is my garlic. Then I will use a like one teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic. Okay, and this is your preference. You don't have to add garlic at all. All right, but I always feel it gives it a good flavor. That's a preference. All right, next. We're going to cut up a lime in half. Lime's so important for the salsa. Then you got your lime squeezer. And you just put it in there like that. And let me go ahead and get everything out of the way. So we can see better because we are basically in the dark. Okay. And I'm just going to squeeze all that lime juice in there. All that lime juice. Check that out. This one held a lot of juice. It's like squirting out of the bowl. Yes. Just squeeze as much as you can. All right. Look at that. Clean that one right out. Sometimes you got to use a whole lime. But with this, um, I'm going to say it probably, like, I don't know, like I said, you got to have that tomato. Make sure you capture all that tomato juice as you cut. But I'm just going to mix it. Look at that beautiful color. I wish y'all could capture that. Go ahead and mix it up. You will add salt. That's your preference to add however much salt you want, but I do add, um, 
Let's see. I'm going to say a, um, half a teaspoon of salt. This is a half a teaspoon, one, two teaspoons of salt. Okay? And trust me, that looked like a lot of salt, but it takes a lot of salt for it to... Uh, to get in there and give it even more flavor as you can see now like I said you could add more onion more cilantro and what I like to do is add more cilantro because I just feel like there's not enough cilantro in there for me but as you can see all that juice I know you guys can't see see all that juice here in the bottom that's what you're looking for because that's what starts to marinate all those spices and tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and garlic. Okay? And that is it right there. And that is it, my friends. That's all you do. So that is pretty easy other than explaining how to make it. It's really, really easy once you get started and start making it a few times. It's You won't even need to look at no recipe. It's all in your head. I've never really looked at a recipe, but I had to come up with some kind of a recipe for you guys because you need to know how much to add to what and so on and so forth. But I thank you guys for joining me. It's been great hanging out with you guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on my next video. Until next time, give me that thumbs up. I will talk to you guys on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to tell you everything. This is Mama Payne. Stay positive, live a little, and don't forget to love yourself. Bye.